Hey YouTube, so just want to demonstrate a little bit of uh, surface grinder action here. Um, I've been getting better at, uh, at this. I can tell from the finishes that I've been getting on uh, my, um, my material, uh, something has definitely changed. Um, one thing that's really helped is this uh, DRO that, uh, that I install. It is a really high precision. Uh, it measures to the half tenths. Um, now I built this DRO, I 3D printed the case, I uh, ordered the electronics from AliExpress inside as well as the display and built, uh, you know, um, the connectors, you know, around, around the box because I only need a single scale for this thing right here and uh, right there is the, uh, the reader. Um, but having it read uh, to the tenths or half a tenths really helps because the dial on the there's a bit of a reflection here but the dial on the actual uh, uh, head only reads in uh, 1000 you can go in between but it's not accurate at all I've I've tried grinding like this but I'm basically taking like a, you know a thou at a time it's um, really not very accurate especially when you really want to get down to uh, tense grinding now I didn't think it would be possible with this surface grinder to do that this is an inexpensive grizzly it is the uh, small uh, G5963 um, and I did not have high expectations of this machine. I basically just wanted really nice surface finishes and uh, you know something ground to within a thou would be nice. Um, I I'm getting much better at that right now. So what I'm doing is I'm going over my parallels. This is my second set and um, <clears throat> I just did a first pass and it took off a little bit there and a little bit here. Um, so I'm going to go over this and then I'm just going to uh, show you what the actual finish looks like. So let me set this back up on the camera, or on the tripod, sorry. All right, so on this uh, first parallel, I was um, four tenths, three to four tenths low in the middle, and the other parallel was pretty good, so that's just coming down because they're pairs, it's coming down together. But as you can clearly see that the grinder is looking off one side here and the other side here, which is really nice. Um, so it's doing a good job, and I'm taking off tenths here. So it looks like I've gone about two tenths. I got another couple tenths. Um, I'm at uh, two tenths right now. And uh, let's uh, bring her down another tenths and see what, uh, what that brings us. Okay, so um, whenever I surface grind something, um, I presume there's going to be a burr. The edge is going to be very sharp, so that will probably influence the reading or could inf influence the reading on that you take on the surface plate. So I uh, break the edge with a, uh, with a stone. This is a very fine stone. And I can actually feel, feel it grab and remove a little bit of material in it, and it leaves this just really nice bevel. It's super small, I can only see it in, uh, in the right light. But I got good light here so I can see that bevel being created. There we go, so that's one. And these smaller stones, these thinner stones are much easier to do this kind of job. Than, uh, than a big precision stone. Find this, the feel is just right. Anyway, here you go. So I'm going to take this over to the surface plate and measure them up.
Okay, I'm at the surface plate here. I've got a uh, interrapid tense, and um, I can tell uh, these still need some work because uh, this parallel right here is pivoting uh, in the center, which isn't good. So is that one. Um, so if I'm to measure this properly, I'd have to flip this way. I believe these were the surfaces that I just ground, and that does. Uh, it doesn't pivot that great, so there's still some issues there. Well, let's um, let's see where they're at right now. Okay, so I'm just reading uh, just above zero right there. Minus two, or plus two, plus three. That's one, plus two. So it's plus two. So. I got a zero here, I got a plus two here, and a plus two there. I'm not too sure what kind of precision you're looking for for shot parallels. Let's see if this rocks a bit. Not really. Um, okay, I got zero there, which is nice. Oh, plus two, plus two again. Yeah, that's plus one, which should be my zero. God, these are finicky when you get into the tents. Here we go, zero, plus two, yeah, definitely plus two and plus two. Same on both sides right here. Plus two and plus two, so a little bit high. Um, and a zero right there. And so what I've been doing with my parallels is to get them bang on, is I've been shimming them up. Um, I've been shimming them up if there's a bow in the middle because what happens at this, at this scale, when you're getting into the tents and you have a bow or something in there, when you turn on the mag chuck, it can suck that bow down and you, you'll never get your parts straight is what I've been finding. Um, you could be chasing your tail. So, so what I've been doing is I've been, you know, sticking shims underneath there. Now the smallest shim I have is a half a thou. So uh, you got to get creative on what you do there. But uh, I'm getting there. I mean, these were like two or three thou uh, over and now they're only uh, two tenths over. So they're getting better. But I just want to give you an idea, really the whole purpose of this video was to give you an idea of the difference in finish that I'm getting now with balancing my wheel, um, my, my grinding wheels. And I'm going to do another video about that because I did one earlier. It's, in, uh, it's somewhere in my collection of videos. And I was getting a lot of negative comments on those. Uh, like there's 50% negative comments really quite bad. And I actually had to delete some because they're very negative. But I want to show you the difference in surface finish compared to what I used to get. I gotta get behind the camera to see if you can see this. So this is last year, um, the kind of surface finish that I'd be getting with my surface grinder. You know, not great. I mean, it looks pretty, but it's it's not great. I mean, it's flat, but it's not pretty. Well, kind of flat. I shouldn't say if it's flat. I, I haven't measured these out yet. Uh, they should be pretty good though. Um, so that's the kind of surface finish that I was getting before um, balancing the wheel properly. And I'll show you what I'm getting now. With these parallels. And, I mean, to me, this, this is pretty amazing for uh, a real budget Chinese surface grinder from Grizzly. Um, so if anybody's considering getting one of these, um, you can dial it in, but it really, you know, you really got to uh, step up your skills on balancing your wheels and your hub and all that. So um, anyway, there you go. I will do another balancing uh, video um, soon uh, because I've improved it a little bit. Well, <laughs> I think I've improved it a lot based on what you're seeing right here. But um, anyway, that's why I wanted to demonstrate and I still got some work to do on these guys, but um, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.